He's not going to say anything till he's had his snack. That was a great jump, Zabu. Way to go. Here, let me scratch you. Oh, right there, huh? <laughs> Let's see what we have for Zabu today. This is going to be huge. One garbanzo bean? That's not enough for Zabu. I'll be right back. Okay, I just have to find that thing. Where is it now? Aha! All right, this ought to do it. Let's see. Adjustments over here. Hey. Oh! Jackpot! Zabu! Zabu, I found some garbanzo beans. Zabu loves garbanzo beans. Yeah. Excuse me. Brothers. Yeah, Zab. Chris, I was thinking, you have Martin, and Martin, you have Chris. Yeah, we're brothers. And you're buddies. Yeah, we're buddies, too. Well, the creature I saw, she had a buddy. Who could it be? Who could it be? What? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, okay. The first creature I saw had hundreds of wavy fingers. But she wasn't alone. A creature buddy was right there with her. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Oh, God, stop. Oh, God, stop. Animal. And the little orange one was swimming in the tan one. <laughs> Water buddies, do you know who they are? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Hundreds of little fingers. Tan and wavy. And another creature swimming all around. Whoops, I got it! Whoa! A clownfish and a sea anemone. I got you, buddy! <laughs> oh, nice say. <laughs> nice find! What amazing creatures. And the more you look at them, the more you learn about them, the more amazing they become. At first, when you look at them, you think there's only one creature there. But when you look closer, you see there are really two, the clownfish and the sea anemone. Talk about a great team of buddies. These creatures really know how to get along. The clownfish and sea anemone live together in the oceans. Living in the ocean can be really dangerous. It's a fish-eat-fish -fish world down there with lots of predators at every turn. Like this colorful grouper. 
and the long-jawed trumpet fish. Can you believe those chompers? The tasseled wobegun shark, a puffer fish. And, of course, there's always a white-tipped reef shark swimming around. In a place like this, the clownfish and the sea anemone really watch each other's backs. These creatures have a symbiotic relationship. A clownfish and a sea anemone each get something good out of living together. They, they protect, protect each other. other. Believe it or not, this clownfish will live with this sea anemone all his life. Whoa. Well, they must be buddies like you and Chris. Yeah. Hey, I wonder if clownfish and sea anemone want to be my buddy, too. Let's be buddies. <gasps> Sadly, wait, no. Oh! 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 That doesn't tickle. That stings. Well, maybe they don't want to be my buddies. Well, stings the thing. Uh... Why do you do that? Sorry, Zabu, I didn't get a chance to tell you. The sea anemone stings because he's protecting his little buddy, the clownfish. Oh, oh well, now that I know that, I know what to call you guys. Because clownfish and sea anemone is a lot to say all the time. Well, you try it. Say, clownfish and sea anemone three times fast. Clownfish and sea anemone, clownfish and sea anemone, clownfish and sea anemone. Whew, that's hard. Let's see, I think I'll call you Finn and you Sting. Yeah, Sting and Finn. Whew, that's much easier. <laughs> and Sting does sting. So you'd better give the sea anemone his space. Unless you can do what the clownfish does, you're gonna get zapped. Okay, Finn, show us how it's done. I'm watching. What does he do? When a sea anemone is defending herself or catching prey, she shoots little stingers from her tentacles. But she doesn't sting a clownfish. Here's why. A sea anemone is covered with slime, so the clownfish does a little dance, covering herself with slime and making the sea anemone think that she's just another one of her tentacles. The clownfish becomes the sea anemone. That's why the sea anemone doesn't attack the clownfish. So you're saying I have to do a dance and rub myself with slime? That's right, Zabu. That's how the clownfish does it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll try the Be My Buddy Boogie, but I'll try it without slime. Hey, Sting! Here's my dance! Check it out! Zabu, look out! Whoa! I really need my own buddy to watch out for me when I'm dancing. <laughs> yeah, I need my own buddy. Who can watch my back? We're your buddies, Zabu. Well, yeah, but you have to watch out for each other. Well, I need a special buddy who can watch out for me full time. <laughs> can you help me find a special buddy? Sure, Zabu. Let's all keep an eye out for a special buddy for Zabu. Somebody who will help him out as much as the clownfish and sea anemone help each other. <laughs> Oh, there's another reason the clownfish and sea anemone are great buddies, Zab. You see, the clownfish lays eggs, and she lays those eggs underneath this thing on the sea anemone called an oral disc. It's a safe place for the eggs until they hatch because the sea anemone protects them. And that's not all. A clownfish isn't a great swimmer, so it's not a good idea for him to be swimming around the ocean all alone. If a clownfish wants to survive, he has to find a sea anemone to live in. So you can think of the sea anemone as the clownfish's house. It's a safe place to go when there's danger around. And the sea anemone gets a great bonus out of being buddies, too. He gets protection from his enemies, like the butterfly fish. You see, one of the clownfish's jobs is to chase away any butterfly fish. That's because a butterfly fish will bite the sea anemone, taking off a chunk of tentacle with each bite. So the clownfish has to chase away butterfly fish to protect his buddy. Sting and Finn are made for each other. I'll keep looking for somebody who doesn't have a buddy so we can be buddies. Yeah. Hey, uh, I need a buddy so he can tell me when a creature's about to grab my tail. Whoa! Ah! Hi, Lost and Found. <laughs> uh, I can't ask Lost and Found to be my buddy because everybody knows his special buddy is Brainiac the Chimpanzee. Hi, Brainiac. You go and play, okay? And now, I'll go look for a buddy of my very own. And you'll find one, Zob, because there are lots of buddies in the creature world, like an oxpecker and a rhinoceros. The oxpecker eats the bugs off the rhino, and the rhino gets a good cleaning. But that's not all. A rhino doesn't have very good eyesight. So, if the oxpecker takes off, then the rhino's warned that something might be up. Well, 
Look who's here! Two baby sloths. And this is about as fast as they like to move. <laughs> if that's fast, I don't leap. Hey, I remember you sloths. Yeah, I remember what I called them, Martin. I called you slow and you slower. Perfect <laughs> names for sloths, Abu. Nice to see you again. You dropped his bark. Martin will get it for you. There you go. Now, sloths usually don't eat bark, just leaves, but uh, maybe he wants to play with it. See, he just took that so nice and easy. Yeah, and he's only got two claws on his hand. Yep, the two-toed sloth. Hey, Martin, are these two buddies? Well, sloths usually don't buddy around together too much, but you can find sloths in the same tree when there are really good leaves to eat. Because sloths love eating leaves. They eat a lot of leaves. It's their favorite food. Hey, uh, maybe you guys want to be my buddies. Well, what do you want to do? They're doing just about everything they want to do right now. Just hanging around and eating leaves. So, uh, you probably don't want to leap around Animal Junction with me. Sloths don't leap, Sabu. Huh? They just hang in the trees. In fact, they hardly ever even go down to the ground. Hmm. And they already have their own buddies, Zab. Insects. Hundreds of insects live in a sloth's fur. It's a safe place to be if you're a bug. But bugs aren't the best buddies to have if you're a sloth. Sloths have a lot of creatures living with them, but these creatures aren't exactly buddies. Sloth beetles live behind their elbows and knees, and sloth moths live inside their fur. And these buddies itch. Tell me about it. They itch. Oh, oh, really? Oh, I know how they feel, because I got bugs all over me. Oh, <laughs> Where'd they come from, Zabu? Well, I don't know. Maybe they think I'm a sloth. They itch like crazy. I wish they'd stop. <laughs> Shark, where'd you come from? Have you been here all day? I guess you noticed I've got a bug problem. These bugs are bugging me. They itch. Huh? What? Oh, thanks. You're great, Shark Buddy. Buddy. Hey, you can be my special buddy. Shark's gonna be my special buddy. <laughs> Shark can watch out for Zabu. Yeah, because he can watch in all directions so I won't bump into things. <laughs> and Zabu can watch out for Shark. Yeah. Perfect. Chameleons have the most incredible eyes. See how each eye can look in a different direction? So he can see Zabu leap over there, and over there, and over there. He can see everywhere. We can't do that. Hard. A sloth can't do that either. See, a sloth can't move their eyes independently like a chameleon can. But she can move her head a full 180 degrees. This lets her see the ground no matter which way she's hanging. We humans can't turn our heads around like that. Nobody does it like my buddy shark. Always keeps an eye on his buddy Zabu. Hey, that makes my mind remember one time in Zabu land. I was leaping along. <laughs> leap, leap, leap. When I thought I heard a rock crying. And I said, is that a rock crying? No. And a sad little voice said, it's not a rock, it's me, Simantha. Oh, why are you so sad? No one wants to be my buddy. Nobody wants to hug with me because I'm so shiny. <laughs> and I told her, but I don't mind. I'll be your buddy. You can give me a hug. You can? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you see what I mean? It's hard to be a buddy when you squirt out of their hugs. <laughs> and I said, I love your slimy hug. That was fun. It was? Oh, you want to come back here? <laughs> yeah, let's do it again. Okay. Can we do it again? Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh Gabu. Now I'm slimy, too. You're my best buddy. And it's my turn to hug you. <laughs> okay. What a fun way for yeah. buddies to spend a day. <laughs> the end. Hey, you know what, Shark? Just like the clownfish, I've got my own buddy. And it's you. I'm feeling clownfishish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel clownfishish. How about you, clownfishish? I feel clownfishish. <laughs> fishish! I'm a fishy creature, and lemonies are my pals. Clownfishish! 
There are lots of buddies in the creature world. And creature buddies always do things together. Swing! <laughs> it's so mung and seeking to have you as my buddy, Shark. Well, now there's Chris and Martin and Finn and Sting and Slow and Slower and Shark and Zabu. Animal Junction's full of buddies. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Incoming duck. Oh, it's probably not a duck. It's probably a. <gasps> it is a duck. It's almost never a duck when they say duck. But then sometimes, well, sometimes it is a duck. <laughs> oh look, she brought a message from the animal helpers. Oh, you see, shark. Wonder what they're up to now. Yeah. Here, Scotty. Here, boy. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here. My family and I are going on a holiday. But we can't take Scotty with us. What are we going to do with Scotty while we're away? Easy! Hey, Scotty, you're going to stay at Boomer, aren't you? And we can't forget all your stuff. Whoa! He's got more stuff than I do. Let's go, boy. I couldn't put my best friend in a kennel for two whole weeks. So he's staying with his buddy Boomer. Scotty and Boomer met in the park and have been buddies ever since. I think Scotty's gonna have a great holiday at Boomer, don't you? She sure is a great buddy for animals, isn't she, Shark? I know a couple of great creature buddies in India. I'm thinking what you're thinking, bro. Come on, Chris! Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. Split. Guess it's safe to go in. Be my guest. No, please. You go first. No, really, bro. After you. You waited too long! <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. Binoculars! <laughs> Let's go spot some creatures! See you later, Zabu! Bye, Zab! Bye, brothers! We're here in Mocha, India, looking for two creatures who are true buddies. Martin's talking about the Langer Monkey and the Cheetle Deer. Chris, Langer Monkey's 12 o'clock! There might be some cheetle around, too. How many monkeys do you see, Martin? Martin? Martin, you think there's some? Whoa! The Langer monkeys and everything are getting closer. Oh, no! I didn't know these binos had automatic zoom. Martin, stop! The brake! Use the brake! Brake? Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> oh, my head is spinning. But I'm not seeing stars, I'm seeing leaves. Of course, I'm under the Langer tree. That's where I landed. <laughs> I'm up in the Langer tree. I'm a Langer monkey. And we Langer monkeys have a bunch of buddies headed this way, Cheetle Deer. All right, I'm a Cheetle Deer. We Cheetle Deer love hanging out with our buddies, the Langer monkeys. Do you know why? Here's why. See, we Langer monkeys love to eat these mahua leaves, but we don't eat the whole thing just the soft inside of the stem. The rest, we just toss away. And that's what we Cheetle Deer love, the leafy parts. Except we can't get these juicy leaves way up there. It's too high. So, we need the help of the Langer monkeys. Thanks, Langers. No problem, Cheetle. Here, catch. How are you Cheetle doing down there? Great. What's up with you Langers? Everything. Langers and Cheetles. What buddies? Everybody's having a great time chowing down. Hey, but that's not all. Another thing that makes these two such great buddies is that they understand each other's alarm calls. So if a predator like a tiger's around, the Langer monkey and the Cheetle deer are gonna know about it. Langer alarm. <laughs> Cheetle alarm. Oh. 
man. Chris, a tiger! Wow. Everyone's taking off! We better listen to what they're saying and head back to the Jeep. Hurry up, Chris! I'm hurrying, buddy! Thanks, Jeebles! Thanks, Langers! We're out of here. Let's go! Oh! <laughs> <Wrong way>. Oops! <laughs> Fisher. There's so many of you, I gotta count again. One, two, three. I wonder what Zabu's up to. No. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Hey, Zabu, we're back. Zabu? Where is that lemur? Hey, Martin, check it out. Munchak deer. A whole family of them. Welcome to Animal Junction. Yeah! Shark and I have lots of buddies now. Well, Shark likes to watch. He doesn't want to get in the way of these guys' feet. Munchak deer are one of the smallest deer in the world. This male is full grown, but he only comes up to my knee. That's not very tall for a deer. I mean, a caribou is 25 times heavier and three times taller than a munchak deer. You see, compared to a caribou, well, you're just really small, yeah. It's sort of like comparing me to a garbanzo bean. <laughs> Can you believe how small and slender their legs are? It's a big deer body, a tiny delicate little legs. Slender legs for fast running. So what do you think a munchak deer likes to eat? Apples? Munchak deer are pretty shy. I'll toss it to him. Look at that. She loves it. Oh, oh that yeah. tongue's as long as Narchie's nose. Oh, I'd like to see that again. Oh. It's incredible. A munchak deer's tongue can lick all the way up to her eyeball. Munga Zika, that's a long tongue. Hey, take a close look at a munchak deer's face. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, it looks like they close their nose when they're sniffing. Try it. <laughs> That's a lot of work. It's a weird way to smell, but it must work for the munchak deer. Munchak deer are pretty mungatsika animals. <laughs> well, hey, don't run away. Munchak deer is like my buddy in Sabu land. I was <laughs> leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. When I bumped into my buddy, oh, <laughs> Noggin Drill. I said, hello, Noggin Drill. Ouch. Oh, hi, Zabu. Uh, Zabu, I want to play with a buddy. Uh, can you play with me? Huh? Well, I've been playing all morning. Hey, if Wiggy's home, maybe she'll want to play with you. Well, let's go see. Wiggy. Wiggy. I'm staying home. Staying home. Oh, well, that's no good. I I'm really in the mood for playing with a buddy. Well, can't you hang around and play with me, Zabu? Well, sure, Noggin Drill. What are buddies for? Oh, what do you want to do? Oh, my favorite thing. I I I'll dig a hole and we'll play in it. Yeah, ready? Here we oh, go. Sounds ah, great. <laughs> How's the hole, Noggin Drill? Is there room for a buddy in there? Oh, there sure is, Zabu. Lots of space. Come on in and see for yourself. So I did. Oh, the end. <laughs> So you see, Munchak, you don't need to be afraid of me. I'm your animal pal. I'm your Animal Junction buddy. There are all kinds of buddies in the creature world. 
What's that, Shark? Oh, okay. Shark's gotta go now, but we're gonna meet up later. Now that we're buddies, we're gonna hang out more. See you later, Shark good buddy. That's <laughs> great, Zabu. I'm glad you finally found someone you could call your buddy. Yeah, but now I've gotta get back to Madagascar. Bye, Moonjack dear. Bye, Chris. Bye, Zabu. Okay, I'll see you later, brothers. Bye, Zabu. See you, buddy. Hey, what do you say we go check out more buddies? Yeah, honey guides and honey badgers. Let's go. See you next time. Bye. Hi, my name is Kevin. This is my dog named Ty, and she likes to swim.